Wolf, we have just learned that former President George H.W. Bush, 41, who just buried his wife, First Lady Barbara Bush, on Saturday, has been hospitalized. Uh, we have been told that, unfortunately, Sunday morning, yesterday, he was admitted to Houston Methodist Hospital and that he is in intensive care. We expect uh, more details to come out soon, but here's what we've learned. We have been told that he was suffering from an infection that led to sepsis, which can be life-threatening, that he was admitted to the ICU at Houston Methodist yesterday, and that, unfortunately, he has been struggling. Uh, we were told that he was in very serious condition. I assume if he's in the ICU that it was critical condition. We were told that his blood pressure kept dropping and that a couple of times there was serious, serious concern about whether he was going to pull through. I'm told he's uh, still being treated, is in the ICU, that he has been stabilized, but we're really waiting for an official report. Obviously, Wolf, was, at his age uh, and his health concerns, he suffers from Parkinson's, with this infection, with the sepsis, this is very, very serious. And, and of course, all the more upsetting for his family, his friends, his staff, because it follows so closely on the death of his wife and the burial on Saturday. We were, you know, doing the coverage on Saturday. And as I said to you on Saturday, Everyone in his family is understandably worried about how he was going to deal with the loss after 73 years of marriage and such an emotional week. Of course, nobody expected this news this quickly. So we're, we're waiting for more details, but he has been hospitalized. You, you were in uh, Houston at that funeral, uh, Jamie, and you saw... Uh, President Bush, uh, you saw him up close, uh, and we're showing our, our viewers some pictures of uh, his son, uh, the former president, uh, uh, pushing him along in that wheelchair. What did he seem like to you then? You know, obviously, it was it was heartbreaking. I mean, when his son, former President George W. Bush, pushed him in his wheelchair into the church, there there wasn't a dry eye in the house and when his son Jeb read as part of the eulogy uh, a love letter that he had written to Barbara on one of their anniversaries uh, you could see he was heartbroken and and it was it was awful it was just just so so hard to watch but uh, I'm, I'm told that actually Saturday night he went after the burial in College Station and had dinner with his family, and everybody thought that he was doing okay. And then Sunday morning when he woke up, there was this crisis, and they took him straight to the hospital. Jamie, you know the Bush family very well, uh uh, I, and I know you're speaking with uh, some members, you're speaking with others close to the Bush family. Uh, how are they dealing with this, uh, the fact that uh, the former president, President George H.W. Bush, has been in intensive care at the Houston Methodist Hospital, uh, suffering from this infection that has led to sepsis, uh, which certainly can be life-threatening? You know, I, I, I think that the best way to describe it is that everyone is reeling. The, the family is, I haven't spoken to anyone in the family today, but I've spoken to people close to the family and friends, and they're, they still haven't recovered from uh, the passing of former First Lady Barbara Bush and are just coming to terms with that. So to have this crisis and and bad news 
so quickly is very hard on, on everyone. Both. We all saw that uh, thick picture, which is now iconic, uh, of the uh, four former presidents, three former first ladies, the current first lady as well, Melania Trump, uh, there. You saw the big smiles on their faces. When, when you look closely at President George H.W. Bush sitting there in that wheelchair, uh, Jamie, uh, and this was, as we know, on Saturday, uh, he, lo he looked okay, right? He did. And, and let's not forget, uh, Wolf, that on Friday, he, on his own, said, I want to go to the church when uh, Barbara Bush, when the public was coming to pay their respects, he, on his own, said, I want to go to the church and welcome the public and thank them and greet them for coming, which was uh, such a classic George Bush thing to do. It's, uh, it was the right thing to do, and even though his health has been very fragile and he's been in and out of the hospital a lot, he sat there at the church for quite some time greeting the public. So this, this was really unexpected, except for the fact that he's 93 years old. He's been in and out of the hospital. He has Parkinson's. And when he gets an infection, I think that it is much more dangerous than for most people. We've just received a statement uh, from the office of President George H.W. Bush. Uh, Jamie, let me read it to you and to our viewers, the statement coming out of Houston, quote, President Bush was admitted to the Houston Methodist Hospital yesterday morning, that would be Sunday morning, after con contracting an infection that spread to his blood. He is responding to treatments and appears to be recovering. We will issue additional updates as events warrant. Uh, well, that's somewhat a, a, a little bit encouraging, Jamie. He appears to be recovering. I assume he's going through uh, major antibiotics to treat uh, this infection, the sepsis, uh, that could be life-threatening indeed. But uh, they are saying he's responding to treatments and appears to be recovering. And of course, we wish him only the best. We hope he recovers completely. Uh, uh, and they will be uh, issuing further updates as events warrant. Uh, well, what's your reaction to that, Jamie? I think that that is, is, you know, very encouraging news. I think that, look, I'm not a doctor, but my understanding is that sepsis can be very dangerous for someone of his age and health when you get an infection. Obviously, he's in the ICU. He is getting the best care uh, he could possibly get. I think that in addition to the antibiotics and um, whatever fluids they're able to give him IV, that's, you know, hopefully what's been stabilizing him. My understanding is the, the real concern yesterday was that his blood pressure kept dropping. And that seems from the statement now to... Um, to, to not be the, such a problem, that they have that stable. But uh, I think we're just going to have to wait for more reports to come in over the next couple of days. Are, are the Bush family members uh, still in Houston, as far as you know, Jamie? Uh, they were all there Saturday, clearly, for the funeral. Right. So uh, some of them live there. Um, Neil Bush uh, and Maria Bush live actually right across the street from former President Bush, so they're there. I understand that their daughter, Dora Bush, is still there, but I think some members of the family had already gone home. So th there is family uh, around him. Uh, Dr. Sanjay Gupta, our chief medical correspondent, is joining us right now. Uh, Sanjay, uh, I know you're, you're very familiar with this infection that led to what's called sepsis uh, and the statement from the office of President Bush saying it, it, it has spread, the infection has spread to his blood. Tell us about sepsis and how serious a problem this is, the president in intensive care at the Houston Methodist Hospital. Well, it's, it's uh, very concerning, obviously, and Jamie outlined it uh, 
pretty well there. You know, we, we, we know that he's had these infections in the past. We know that he's uh, obviously dealt with some other underlying illnesses, was in the hospital last year as well. What sepsis is typically is an infection uh, that has spread more widely, typically into the bloodstream. And w- what happens as a result of that is that the body reacts uh, by trying to fight the infection, and that can cause uh, someone's blood pressure to drop, their, their heart rate to become unstable. Uh, and that's typically what leads to the not only need for hospitalization, but need for intensive care, being in the ICU. At times, it can also interfere with one's ability to breathe well on their own, uh, necessitating the need for a breathing machine. So that that's that's all, you know, that, that happens real time and pretty quickly. Those assessments being made in the intensive care unit, obviously um, uh, compounded by his, his age and his other underlying medical problems. Yeah, I was going to say uh, sepsis is awful. Uh, and I'm not a physician, but I've heard enough about it uh, for any age, uh, even if you're young or middle-aged. But when you're 93 years old and you have Parkinson's, it, it could be really, really bad. Yeah, that, that, that's exactly right. You sort of count on your body, your body to sort of have enough reserve to both fight the infection and in some ways be able to deal with your own body's response to the infection, meaning that you're... you're Again, your, your blood pressure may start to drop. Your heart rate may start to become erratic. Uh, and, and if you're otherwise healthy, your body can sort of, um, if you will, accommodate these changes, keep up with these changes. But as you get older, it, it does become harder. If you have underlying illness, it becomes harder. Uh, you, have to, you have to decide how aggressively you want to treat this infection. Um, is, is, is it a bacterial infection? What types of antibiotics? What are the side effects of those types of medications? And what effect might they have on the other organs in the body, the heart and the lungs specifically? He's in intensive care right now at the Houston Methodist Hospital. Uh, and this, the timing is, uh, is so, so sad, yeah. uh, coming so quickly after the funeral. Uh, the, uh, the, the, the office of President uh, George H.W. Bush saying he contracted this infection that has spread to the blood. Uh, is there any, any way of finding out how mm-hmm. someone uh, contracts an infection like this that spreads to the blood? Uh, that results in sepsis? Well, you know, it, it's interesting. I think there's, there's two points here. One is, you know, the actual uh, contracting of the infection. And, and, you know, people can get infections in all sorts of different ways. Someone who is, is not as mobile can get infections just from pressure ulcerations, for example. Um, but the other part of it, and I think the part that is, is you're, you're alluding to, Wolf, is that, you know, then your body sort of tries to fight that infection. And why does a, a, an infection that might otherwise be not as serious turn into something serious because your body hasn't been able to fight it as well? Your yeah. immunity is compromised. And, you know, I mean, right after a, a big loss, certainly like he has had, uh, there is some data to show that people can, can develop problems with immunity, uh, become more susceptible to infections, have otherwise uh, infections that they would have otherwise been able to fight become more serious. So. It could be a combination of these factors, Wolf. Yeah, clearly uh, he was heartbroken by the death of his wife, uh, Barbara Bush, of 73 years. We could see that on his face. Uh, but you make an important point uh, that, uh, you know, the combination of the, the heartbreak plus the infection, uh, they're yeah. dealing with it right now. They're dealing with it with heavy doses of antibiotics intravenously uh, injected, right? That's typically uh, the course. So, so what, you, what you have to do is... You- you are suspicious that it's sepsis because someone uh, is having trouble with their blood pressure, their heart rate, whatever the clues are. And then typically you will take some blood to try and figure out what is causing the infection, what is the, the pathogen, if you will. And then based on that, you, you select the appropriate antibiotics. It's a balance because, again, you want to give strong enough antibiotics to fight the infection, but not so strong that it somehow will harm other organ systems or make it harder for him to, to maintain his blood pressure. So there are several different factors at play. And, and again, an intensive care unit, a place like Methodist, one of the best in the world, um, is th- those are the, probably the, the real-time decisions that are going on right now. 